Dr. Landa understood the promise of genomics to change medicine, and as one of the leaders of the Human Genome Project, he was adamant that they share their findings with the scientific community. At the time, this was unheard of. Well, Eric Lander is a larger-than-life personality. Eric's incredible. He started life as a mathematician, a brilliant mathematician, met David Baltimore, who convinced him to go into science, and the rest is history. He is a professor at MIT, a professor at Harvard. Eric was the only person that could do it, start up the Broad Institute, because no one else had an idea like that. Eric taught me what you can do with personal charisma. It was an idea where uh, Eric thought he could reinvent the way science was being conducted by getting people with engineers, mathematicians, computer scientists, biologists, uh, and others all working together. He's so unusual. He's a scientist that can explain things to a layperson, and he made it seem so simple. Edie was so impressed, she said, we should give Eric all of our money. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I don't think Eric ever wants to be put into a box. Box of being mathematician, box of being geneticist. He likes problems, big problems. He has developed methods for discovering the foundation of both rare and common diseases, and of course, cancer. Eric is driven by wanting to do science. Um, and the science that he's chosen to do is, is largely biological science. Um, because I think he's driven by the, an interest in human medicine. Uh, he wants to help solve the cancer problem. The past 15 years have seen exciting innovation in cancer research because of the work of Dr. Lander and others like him. It would be wonderful if when you got a cancer diagnosis, you didn't have to think that possibly you wouldn't be cured. Eric really is a, a perfect symbol of what you can do in cancer research if you take your own personal skills and your own personal involvement and bring that to the problems that, that cancer poses for us. He taught us that uh, uh, there are ways to do things that have never been done before. I've always been a believer that leadership is a key skill that's needed in scientific institutions as much as it's needed in corporate structures. Uh, but Eric brings that to a different level. Dr. Land is dedicated to developing new ways to utilize recent discoveries in biomedical research. And as co-chair of President Barack Obama's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, he is at the forefront of pushing those initiatives forward.